Hello, this is Julianne of Leafling Learns, and today we are going to wrap up my series of Yiddish Journey vlogs. What you're going to see is the final classes of Yiddish Beginners 1 and Yiddish Beginners Conversation 1. And these classes are through the Worker Circle. The Worker Circle very kindly provided me access to these classes. Thank you so much to the Worker Circle. If you are interested in having a Yiddish journey like I have had, the fall semester of classes, if you're watching this in 2022, is starting in October. So be sure to keep an eye on the website and sign up once the classes are available. I highly recommend them. As you'll see, I learned a lot in the past three months. Like it kind of blows my mind how much I've learned. I came in with zero knowledge of Yiddish. I'm not used to learning in a class where I'm speaking. I'm used to teaching myself essentially. So this has been a wildly new experience and I'm really happy with the results of it. So let's check out how it went for me. Okay, so we are back after a week off of Yiddish Beginners 1 and like two weeks two or three weeks off of Yiddish uh, conversation one. I really want to express that I completed knitting my first ever garment, this cardigan, but unfortunately I don't know past tense in Yiddish and I tried looking it up in my textbook and I got very quickly overwhelmed. I'm just gonna have to craft some sort of bizarre uh, present tense inaccurate sentence. One day I'm sure I'll be conjugating into past tense like an absolute professional. Shalom Aleichem, Julianne. Aleichem, Shalom. What is a mechaya? Like it's like a good thing, yeah? Yeah. A mechaya, yeah, via, so via an interact, say, yeah, ah, great, yeah, a mechaya. But mechaya is pleasure, delight, yeah? Oy vey. Oy vey is mir und wind. And I would like to correct something I told you before. Um, Oy vey is mir und wind is actually written with a dalit and not with a test. And wind does not mean, as somebody taught me previously, wind. And it is written incorrectly as wind uh, very often. Maybe people think it is, at least uh, those that told me so thought it was, but it was actually folks etymologie. You know what folks etymologie is? Das ist etymologie, ja, etymology, aber nicht linguistic. Das ist nicht uh, Wissenschaft. It's not scientific. And wind actually simply means it's another word for whoa, yeah? Ah. So wind, oi we is mir und wind, you're actually saying, woe is me, woe is me. You can say that when things are bad. Oi we is mir und wind. <laughs> und uh, was machst du, Julianne? Gut, a dank, because I don't know past tense yet. I was going to say a strange sentence. Uh, ich hob lieb uh, zu stricken sweaters und es, es ist do uh, mein sweater. Do you understand what I'm trying to express? Sehr oh. schön. Ayasha Quer. Dein Sweater set gut aus. Looks good. Set gut aus. Thank you. Der Sweater set gut aus. Das ist a Sacharbeit, ja? Stricken Sweaters. A Sacharbeit, ja? Zwei is two? Zwei. Zwei. Ja, zwei. 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 Yeah, uh, zwei Jahre, yeah. Zwei Jahre. It took two years of picking it up and putting it Just down. Just the sweater. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aber das ist eine Sacharbeit, eine Sacharbeit, ein langer Lernprozess. Das mm. ist eine Mechaia. Mein Mama hat sehr lieb zu stricken. Ja. Oh. Sie hat sehr lieb, das ist ihr Hobby. Und sie strickt eine Sach und sie gibt Matones. Was ist Matones? Um, gifts, gifts. Ja, ja. Alle Menschen, von der ich spreche, ja, alle Menschen haben Matones. Und mein Mame, ja, Sweaters, ja, Sachsachen, ja. Sachsachen. Von meinem Mame, ja, und sie geht, sie geht Matones. Ja. I have the word Loschen Koidisch, spelled first as it is traditionally spelled, ja, auf Hebräisch, and here phonetically spelled. You'll see that in the first case, you don't have all vowels. You don't have all the information that you need to pronounce. For example, a vowel here in Koidish 
A vav is not a u, it's oi. But once you know that this is Lashon Kodesh, you can identify yeah, that this is Lashon Kodesh and see why it is. In the Soviet Union, there were various movements of uh, orthographic reform in Yiddish. And one of them, not one of them, many, tried to eliminate completely the traditional spelling from Yiddish. So words that were traditionally spelled like this, Lashon Kodesh, for example, you will find them very often in Soviet books spelled like this, Lashon Kodesh. And it didn't stop there. You will find very often Lashon Kodesh being spelled like this because there was also a movement to try to eliminate the final forms. So we'll find many Soviet books huh. that do not mm -hmm. have final forms. So instead of spelling Ich, for example, like this, as you would expect, because we have a Langer Hof, right? You will find it spelled like this in, so in many Soviet books. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really wanted us to finish the olive phase right then and there. We were going through the lotion, lotion coitish. That's the part of the olive phase that I've just been kind of avoiding for the most part. Some stuff I've just kind of picked up on my own, but unfortunately we didn't completely finish. There's like three letters left and I'm just quite confused about how can this be? There's two S sounds in lotion coitish, like two different letters that do the same thing. Why? I need answers. They're sin and uh, sof are both the same as samech. They're all s. I understand having two, having the samech and then having the sin or whatever they want to choose for the lotion koidesh. That's fine, but if all three of them make the same sound, why are there two s in lotion koidesh? Why? 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 I have questions now. I might just email him immediately. I'm just gonna shoot off a little email. Subject. Sin. Sof. Samech. Why? Lots of question marks. There was once a distinction between a sin, a sof, and a samech, yo, yeah? in alt hebreish, yo. Yeah? Ober af yiddish ne, af ashkenazish hebreish, dizel bezach. They're the same thing. So historically, this makes sense. And w once you learn Lashon Kodesh and Lashon Kodesh words, you'll pay attention to the, the, the roots of the words you're learning. And you'll see how the Sin and the Sof and the Samech are different in the meaning of each root. But phonetically, they're the same. Essen. But you know how we say it in the past? First person? Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. I mean, the past participle is the same anyway. But oh, you would it? conjugate the, the hub, remember? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, now now I feel like I can't remember anything. Um, ich hoge est? That would be... Good guess. If it was standard, get, if it was standard, it would be a hub ge est. But it's not standard. It's actually kind of... Um, yes. Oh, okay. You're adding that g because maybe, you know, two e's yeah, after. Yeah. You know. uh, and it's one of the ones that ends with an n. Damn it. Okay. Good, good guessing. Nechten. Yeah. Nechten? Yeah. Okay. Would I put that at the beginning of the sentence or just somewhere in the middle? Azoi, adere azoi. Oi, oi, psis bam onheib. Bam onheib at the beginning. Then there's a bit of a trick. Do you remember what you have to do? If you're saying nacht at the beginning. Yeah. Put the put the verb second. I put the verb second. So try it out. Let's see. I'm scared. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nechten. I don't say ich. I say. Right. Right. Okay. Nechten hob gegessen. Well, well, then you would add the uh, the ich. After hob. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nechten hob ich gegessen reis mit schwommen tempura. Sehr schön. Nechten hob ich gegessen reis mit schwommen tempura. Oh Lord. Okay. Julian, I I need to have. You remember the need? God, like maybe. So, some part of my brain must remember. Is it kind of like an ugly word? <laughs> Does it end in like arf or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Is it... Does it start with D? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. The, uh, is it Darth? Yeah. Really? Yeah, good. Okay. That, yeah, that's awful. I don't like that. <laughs> what is the last film? Oh, film. Was gekocht. Ich hab gekocht. Um, the Batman. <laughs> Okay. The Nyan Batman film? Mm-hmm. I have you uh, Letztens. Letztens. What's made Letztens? Letztens. If Letztens is like the last, Letztens is more like an adverb kind of thing. Letztens. Any guesses? Let's. Lately? Uh, yeah, lately, recently. I have you Letztens gekocht dem film. Mm. Yeah, Ben Riddler, yeah? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. oh, Paul Dano, incredible. Ah, the Emmys gesucht. That's a useful phrase. No, let's make the Emmys gesucht. Let's make Emmys. Truth. Truth. So it's kind of like truth be told. Mm. Truth told. The Emmys gesucht. Bin ich gewen zeir mead. Ah. Zeir mead. Wenn ich hab gekick gekuckt dem film. Ich bin a bissel geschlafen. <laughs> Verstehst du, Julian? You were tired? Or yeah, me, it, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you're saying it made you tired or if you were already nee, tired. Nee, ich bin, nee, nee, nee. Okay. Ich bin, okay. gewen, ich bin gewen me. Mm. Und ich bin ein bisschen geschlafen. It's very long. It's very long, <laughs> yeah. Very long. Wiffel a Säge. At what time? How much o'clock? Wiffel, Wiffel is how much, yeah? Yeah. And a Zager is a clock. Wiffel a Zager has to cook. Is that how you would say it? Has to cook the Batman movie. Ich gedenk nicht. Efscher Senna Zager. Senna Zager. Und es ist mehr wie zwei Scha. Emmes? Es ist mehr, mehr wie zwei. Sure. What is a show? That hour? Yeah. This is mm-hmm. Mary Tve Sha. Uh, um, no. Ich darf, ich darf gucken dem film noch einmal. Mm-hmm. Noch einmal. Was machst du, Julianne? Ich bin mit, uh, wie sagt man, tornado warning? Oh, Last oh, night. Oh, oh, no. Oi, oh, das oh, ist oh. nicht gut. Ist <laughs> <laughs> nicht gut. Und Du bist mead, weil du schlafst nicht. Ja, du schlafst <laughs> nicht. Ja, ja. Yeah, yeah. And here we have geben as well. And in the case of geben, it is even more irregular. Uh, Julianne, the first, second, and third person plural pitch. Mir geben? Or is it geben? Geben? Mir geben. Mir geben. Okay. Um, ihr geht uh, se geben. Perfect. You see that not only the vowel is different from the infinitive, because we had geben and here we have e. But where is our base? We had <laughs> geben, yeah, in the infinitive. And here we have ich gib, our base is here. But what about du gis? What about du git? Where is the base? Es ist nicht talking base. So you have verbs that are more irregular than others. We're going to be discussing gender of adjectives. How to use adjectives and sentences because in english when you use any adjective you you don't add any ending to it depending on the situation in yiddish when you use the adjective after the noun that you're describing for example here david is clever david is klug you don't have any uh, adjective endings here klug das ist die base von adjektiv ja but what happens if you have an adjective that comes before the noun for example klug klug man. Ja, ah. Mann, or I don't know this year that I'm highlighting. Die kluge Freud. You see that it is different? It's slightly yeah. different. Yeah. Kluge. Different ending. And yeah. that's what we're going to be discussing next week. Class was good, as usual. We spent time on irregular conjugations. Conjugating is my absolute nightmare in Yiddish. I'm not comfortable with conjugating. As of this moment, I'm not... Um, consistently remembering the kind of standard regular rules of present tense, 
conjugation. So, you know, throwing a regular into the mix. I don't have the firmest foundation <laughs> to like work with the irregular verbs, um, but we try our best. Next class is our final class, which is very sad. It's gonna be weird not having that class anymore. The, the cadence at which I'm putting out the vlogs, it's not super regular just because I have these two different classes that are kind of, it's complicated and it's not interesting, but the classes aren't happening in the same quantity, like across the same amount of time. So I'm trying to split it up in a way that makes sense. Fern is being such a good girl. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate what a good girl she is? Are you such a good girl? You're so good. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say scary. Moira <laughs> dick. Uh, Moira dick. The Shrek dick. Shrek dick. Like from Shrek. <laughs> Perfect. Shrek made um, yeah, that's like fear Shrek. So Shrek a dick. Hey, aber nor vardenungen. Varden. Uh, uh, nor. What's my nor? Only? Yeah. Mm, mm. Nor vardenungen. Der weil. Der weil is like, uh, meanwhile, for now. Der weil nor vardenungen. Mm-hmm. I think, um, I don't know how to say this. Uh, north of us, there was a tornado. Two uh, Soften for nuns. Soften mm. is north. Soften. Mm. Well, that's confusing. That should be south. Wait, why should soften be south? Because there's a, a sort of an S sound oh. that one would associate with south. And by south one, I mean is me. D Durham. Durham is south. That sounds like north. Uh, Mizrach is east. Ben Wiesuchman, west. Oh, Marav. Myrath. Myrath. Myra. Myra is it's west. Those are fine, but north and south should consider <laughs> switching. Oh, but nay, nay. Well, soften north. Soften, soften north. Soften north. Okay. Soften north. <laughs> All right. Whatever you say. Und hast du Asach Moire gehabt? Moire is like the Shrek. Moire. Das das geht Moire. Ja. Ei Nebech. Nebech. Du weißt was das meint Nebech. Oh, das ist echt sehr wichtig. Poor thing that that um, like a sympathy kind of thing. Nebech. Ei Nebech. Ich bin gegangen in dentist. Uh, zum. 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 Oh, zum. Das ist so so in Jiddisch sind du als Sach Werter. Uh, was man quetscht zusammen, zu knife. So the muscle zu dem, to the, zum. Ja, ich bin gegangen zum Dentist und ich bin gewann in pain. Ah, in Jiddisch ist das ein mean Konstruktion, was man sagt da so, es tut mir weh. Oh. Es hat mir weh getan. Nebech. <laughs> Nebech, oh, sehr gut. <laughs> oh, sehr gut. Sehr gut, perfect. Nebech, Ben, Nebech. So, of course, my camera did not actually turn on at, like, the very first, like, couple of minutes of the class where I said a sentence that I had... I had looked up kind of how to do some grammatical stuff for it last night, specifically to say um, there was, and I said it and and it went well. Um, you just didn't get to see me say it specifically, so I'll say it now. Far die letzte zwei Tag auf der Nacht sind gewen tornado vorenungen do. I I have um, <laughs> problems with emphasizing the correct syllable. <laughs> uh, he corrected my pronunciation of. I think I think the correct way to say it is gaven. I think that's correct. Es zenen gaven tornado voranungen. So for the last two nights, it like in the evening there have been tornado warnings. So ich bin mid. I'm tired. <laughs> if I want to say there was something, instead because you can say 
The phrase is very strange in the present. Es ist do, uh, blah blah blah. Or es sind do, blah blah blahs. It's just a set phrase that is said. It literally translates to this is here, or these are here, or this are here. Um, which it like doesn't make sense literally, but it's just like how we say there is a, there is a, which if you think about it too hard starts to not make sense anymore. There is a computer here. What? Why am I saying there and here? I don't know, it's just how language works. It's just a set phrase. Singular, S is do. Singular past, S is given, blah blah blah. Uh, plural, S zenendo, past tense, es senen given. So, es senen given tornado vorenungen. And I say do for here, where I live. Is that where you put the do in the sentence? I don't know. That's where I put the do in the sentence, so that's where it's gonna be. Ich bin farnumen. Ja, sau was bist du farnumen. Dem sofoch ich mach. A Sprachen event. Ah, a Sprachunternehmung? Schkoyer. An Unternehmung is an event, yeah. Well, that is simply too long of a word. Nee, nee, das ist nicht. <laughs> ich schreibe dann literiert. Unternehmung. Is dem Software hast du a Sprachunternehmung? Ja, uh, immersion, language immersion event. Sehr, sehr schön. Is uh, mit Jiddisch. Du machst da, uh, du, was, uh, du tunkst dich ein in Jiddisch oder nicht? Ja, yep, Japanisch. Ah. Von mir. <lacht> no. Is, du darfst uh, ein Jiddisch eintunk. Ein Eintunk ist eine Immersion. Is, du darfst ein Eintunk. Die Unternehmung ist für alle Sprachen, ja? Mm. Ja, ja. Für was nicht Jiddisch? <lacht> Aber. <lacht> Wo, wo ist die Unternehmung? Wo ist wo where? Ja, wo ist uh, die Unternehmung? Internet. Ah, ein Internet. Internet. <lacht> ist uh, in Zoom-Land. Sehr gut. Cool. <lacht> Aber es ist interessant. Und was tust du? Lernst du? Hörst du Musik? Ist, was tust du, Julianne? Die, die Unternehmung... Where's the stress on that? <laughs> die un Unternehmung. Unternehmung is um, sich directed, self-directed uh, in, in Heim. Und in der Heim, sehr interessant. In der Heim und the Internet. Und in Internet. <laughs> in Internet. Mm. Ja, uh, whatever uh, du will ton. <laughs> Was du willst? Ja, 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 ja. Sehr gut. Is, uh, soll sein mit Masel, mit dem Eintunk. Ja? Mm. Das klingt sehr, sehr gut. Haverim, ihr sagt, ah, ich bin treuerig. Ja, ich bin treuerig. Es ist die letzte Lektion. Ich bin euch ein bisschen treuerig. Es ist die letzte Lektion. Aber ich bin sehr, sehr glücklich zu sehen. Ja? Ich bin glücklich zu sehen, mir reden auf Jiddisch. Wir schmusen auf Jiddisch. Ja, wir schreiben auf Jiddisch. Das ist der erste Kurs, ja. Und wir schmusen, wir schreiben, wir lehnen. Das ist der Onheb, ja. Und ja. auf Jiddisch, auf Jiddisch sagt man, jeder Onheb ist schwer. Mm. Ja, jeder mm. Onheb ist schwer. Nicht für euch. Ihr seid kluge Studenten. Es ist nicht schwer. Der Onheb ist nicht schwer. Und ich bin sehr stolz. Ja, ich bin sehr stolz. Ich quäl. Ich schäpp nach es. Und jetzt gehen wir zu unserem Buch. Der Mensch. Die Menschen. Ja. Oder der Student. Die Studenten. Ja. Und was mit, ähm, wollen wir sehen, die Katz ist schön. Is Katz maskulin, feminin oder neutral? Feminin. Ja, die Katz. Ja, feminin, die Katz. Und was in Plural? Ja, was ist der Artikel? 
T. D is Part one. Three. You see, the cats, Zen and Shane. This is actually a very interesting example. The only difference here is in the word itself, yo. The cats, the cats. Because the article itself does not tell you that it is plural. Because feminine nouns already have the D in the nominative case as a definite article. So regardless of gender, in plural, yeah, is this D. Alamo D. Stendig D. Fit check. She's everything. <laughs> Today I'm wearing a shirt that is me as a baby. I'm not sure why I thought it was um, a good idea, an appropriate idea to wear myself today on my shirt but I, I just thought it was so funny i had to do it so we'll see if anybody else thinks it's funny or if it's just me who thinks it's funny oh wow this is thine uh garniter <laughs> mm -hmm. uh there <laughs> is, is mir <laughs> this is <laughs> That's this too. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. There are no more. There is this. And so do a build from there of your hand. Do glaps not in geister. What's meant geister? Spirits. Yeah, ghost yeah, spirits. Ghost stuff. <laughs> geist. Geist. Ghost. Geist. In the Yiddish literature, then do a sach shadem. Demons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm a geister. Um, but yeah, Sach They're Dibbik. Yeah, Dibbik. Has you heard of them Dibbik? Ah. It's very varied in the Yiddish culture. Because the Dibbik is, is in the Maise, it's a film. It says the Dibbik. It's a Yiddish film. A dibik is when when a man starved and vernimmt dem guf. So it's like um it's like an exorcist, yeah. I haven't seen exorcist. Ich auch nicht. Aber du weißt, was es geschehen in exorcist, yeah. So it's a man who was at vernimmt dem guf von a zweiten man. Is a a toiter man, a man who is gestorben, who is toit, vernimmt. Them mm. goof from an under match. Mm. And this is a, a dibek. Mm. Scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I was cooking them film. I can just get fin enough at kinonow.com. I have a medal of coifin. So there's a serie Yiddish film of Kino Now. And I can coifin the ganze serie. I mean, weniger than 40 dollars. Yeah, Ben, they're sale. Then, yeah, what's this to get in the casino? The full blooming. For what? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's big. I don't know when you're. Uh, yeah, ich darf, ich darf haben die Aizuchis. But <laughs> du darfst machen an Aizuchi, wenn du verstehst. And wenn du verstehst nicht, mach an anti Aizuchi. <laughs> I just glare when I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, but I'm all glares to euch when you do know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know when I'm confused. I just let you know. Oh, okay. Bist du, bist du a heflicher mensch? Am I? Yeah. 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 Oib uh, es senendo a sach mention in class. Ich will become. <laughs> become. Uh, become. become. More I polite. Ben, du weißt, wie es euch sagen, become? Werden. Okay. Und wenn du das sagst, Menschen in Klasse, bist du werden mehr heftig. Mm, mm, mm. Ich meine, weil du hast gesagt, dass du erst so viel Sachen Ja, ich weiß, dass Ben ist noch als ein Stück überkleiber. Überkleiberisch. Julian, du denkst das? Überkleiberisch? Picky? Ja. Yeah. Yeah. Ist ein Mensch kann sein ein Überkleiber. I mean, is it picky to just have a preference? Um, nein, aber <laughs> euch, du wirst es nicht essen, ist das nicht dann eine Präferenz. Mm. So, 
as happens, um, my camera did overheat at least three times during the recording of my class, but that's fine. Um, as long as we captured my outfit being a hit, that's truly all that matters. But yeah, it was sad. I mean, it's sad that that was my last conversation class with them. That was sad. I'm going to miss it. It's definitely been a highlight of my Fridays. I hope to maybe take another conversation class soon. We will see. We are going to do our final beginners one, Hey Marbet, um, which is to read. I'm to send it to Gustavo for feedback. So it's very handy that all of this is being recorded, isn't it? Okay. We're just going to go for it. Okay. Here we go. This is a short little three paragrapher. Can she read? Let's see. Ich heiß Mirl Birn, Birnboim. Birnboim. Ich komme von Buenos Aires. <laughs> Buenos Aires. Mein Mischpoche kommt von Rim, Rimen. Oh, Rum, Rumänia. Rumänia und Estreich. Ich bin a Studentke von Geschichte in an Universität do. Ich lerne sich jedes Geschick, Geschichte. Um, ich lerne sich Oif Yiddish. Ich bin an Onheberin. Die Yiddish Lektias zenen schwer und ze zenen sehr interessant. Mein Yiddish Klass is wun wunderbar, wunderbar. Uh, die Lehrerin is Klug und die Studenten zenen motive, motiviert. Die Lehrerin uh, kommt von, kommt euch von Arge, Argentina, Tine, aber ihr Mischpoche kommt von Poil. Sie redet Poilisch, Jiddisch und Kalal Yiddish? I think that's K. Kalal. Uh, mir, lern, mir lernen sich Kalal Yiddish in class. Die Yiddische Dialekten zenen sehr sch mm, schön. <laughs> sehr schön. Uh, Ober Kalal Yiddish is the Sprach von der Literatur. Uh, es zenen do a uh, Sach Yiddish Schreiber. Uh, Ze kommen von Alts Kontinenten. Kontinenten. Ich will Ich will lehnen die Jiddisch Literatur uh, in Original in Original uh, die die Menschen fragen uh, wer wer ist dein Beliebster nope <laughs> Belieb Bal Balibter uh, Schreiber und die Problem ist ich hob a Sach Balibter Beliebte Schreibers Ich meine as es ist a gut Problem uh, Okay, that wasn't so bad That wasn't so bad Yiddish homework officially completed You saw it here first I completed my Yiddish homework. Wow, it's crazy that it's over. <laughs> I don't know, the time just went so fast. Like, it feels like the time went so 
quickly. It was such a joy. It was so lovely. Everyone was great. I don't know why this language is just so fun, but it is. And it's so fun to play around with speaking it, which I didn't anticipate because I'm somebody who is um, habitually devastatingly self-conscious about speaking in other languages. That has been my experience with Spanish, with Japanese. But yeah, I mean, it's been so fun to just experiment with this language through interacting with others. I am a social person, so it's nice to talk to other people and not just completely self-study, which is what I'm more or less used to. Um, And it it does give me a lot of inspiration to attempt to speak more in Japanese, for example. Um, So that's great. I fully intend to continue with Yiddish. I've been reading a short story. I think I mentioned that already. Um, I'm nearly done. I wanted to finish it today before recording this, but I didn't. And that's been super interesting to read versus to, you know, speak. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty incredible to think about how I literally showed up knowing genuinely nothing, nothing, and now I'm able to read the Olive Base fairly well. I'm reading a short story, and I'm understanding what's going on in it, and I find myself just saying random Yiddish stuff to myself, (laughs) and, you know, I'm able to have these little conversations with people. I mean, there's a lot of visoked men for sure, don't get me wrong, but I can like kind of structure a sentence. You know, I can get my point across and yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really pleased with how much I did pick up during this short amount of time and I certainly would recommend the worker circle classes to anybody interested in Yiddish. Oh my god, I'm so glad I did it. It I I think trying to go at it on my own would have been a far, far, far inferior experience. I think one of the most amazing things about Yiddish is the community of people around it who are keeping it vibrant and thriving. I think there's something really special about the Yiddish language community. It's just so lovely, so supportive. Yeah, I'm just, (laughs) I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry today. Not in this one, can't get me this time. I'm not gonna cry. But I'm just saying it has been very meaningful to me. This is certainly the most Jewish activity I've ever done in my life. Um, I did not have access to um, typical Jewish kid activities growing up. I was quote unquote not Jewish enough. My family wasn't practicing or anything. Um, Yeah, it's just been really meaningful to connect to a part of my heritage. And I feel lucky to have connected with the people that I have along the way and to have had this opportunity. Thank you to the worker circle so, so much. It's been very powerful and emotional (laughs) for me and it's been so fun and I think it's definitely changed my life in the very least in the sense that I will be continuing Yiddish 100%. 100% I will be continuing Yiddish. So that's dope. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me, learning Yiddish. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my experience was like starting from zero, maybe learning a little bit about Yiddish. I appreciate all of your kind comments. Be sure to check out the worker circle if you're interested in having (laughs) a similar experience to the one that I did. Slam that like button. Sorry for everything, and I'll see you in the next video. All right. All right, got it. Oh my... Oh my god, what? Oh, oh sh- Oh, I have to go? Oh my god, oh, coming!